rescue equipment, Mr. Ty? Yes, sir. Each of the last two budget years, um, we have been able to um, work with the local um, vendor that that sells Hearst tools. They're the sole uh, vendor that is authorized to sell those tools in Georgia. And instead of purchasing brand new, we've been able to um, purchase demo equipment that's been slightly used. Um, is basically what they have on their trucks that when they go out and demo to a department trying to sell stuff, um, they use that. So we've gotten some really good equipment at a much lower price. Um, so we're requesting, uh, we included in our budget request this past year, um, two more sets. That will provide us with six sets, which would standardize our entire entire fleet of rescue equipment that we have spread around the county in um, certain locations. And one of the advantages um, that we've seen is our maintenance costs go down because now you just have the one tool that has to be serviced instead of the tool, the, the hydraulic pump, the hoses, the gasoline engine. Um, you know, and it's a lot quicker to deploy. Um, the, the guys have, have really um, been um, pleased with how quickly they can get the tools off the equipment. It's less heavy. You can operate two tools at the same time. Um, just a lot of advantages to, to this. And um, so, and, and in addition to the um, two rescue, rescue jaws of life basically is what these are, uh, we're also replacing some um, airbags that we typically use in conjunction with the rescue tools that are about 20 years old. So they've kind of reached the end of their useful life. Um, you start having some maintenance issues and, you know, hard to find parts. So. Um, this will have us set up for the next um, several years, be in good shape to um, with these new rescue equipment. So, be glad to answer any questions you have about that as well. Any questions, Ashley? Will you describe for the board again the how the uh, airbags are used in an emergency? <clears throat> so the airbags kind of we have two situations we use the airbags. Um, one is if we need to lift something. So say like the um, the tornadoes we had a couple years ago in Adel, you know, when we have hurricanes come through here, if we have something that's collapsed and we need to create some space so we can get in, you can insert these bags. You basically blow them up and it, it lifts and, it, you know, it can lift. Um, uh, each one of these, each one of these bags, I believe, can lift up to uh, 15 tons so I mean it can support a lot of weight and then of course if you stack if you combine a couple of them together you just increase the weight um, most of the time um, what we use them for is as we're you know if we have an extrication say we have a uh, you know a bad wreck on interstate especially if it's like a, a semi truck um, you know the most recent we actually provided some mutual aid just across the state line on the interstate and a car had run under the, the semi, so we actually used airbags to lift the trailer up off the car so we could get, you know, perform the extrication and get the people out. So we use it for stabilizing, and, you know, it's not just for for when houses are collapsed, that we can also use it for for um, auto accidents and that kind of stuff. So. Any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Todd. 